Welcome to Epic Adventure Outfitters. Today we're installing the Goose Gear full rear seat delete for our shop Toyota Tacoma. Here's the finished product. As you can see, removing the rear seats from your Tacoma gives you massive amounts of space and storage possibilities. As with any excellent Goose Gear setup, we have designed and engineered everything to fit perfectly and be durable. As with any project, we highly suggest finding a ginger to do the heavy lifting, particularly one with a majestic beard. Here is the sad backseat of your Tacoma. Nobody needs rear seats, so let's start by removing all this stuff. To begin the seat removal, fold the seat bottoms forward and the seat backs down. Then remove all the bolts holding the plastic trim panel to the back wall. This will allow you to remove the plastic trim panel from the vehicle. Remove the middle bolt holding the two sections of the seat together, followed by the seat bolts holding the seats to the floor of the vehicle. Remove the seat backs from the vehicle. You can then remove the seat belt bolts. Next up, undo the bolts from the seat bottoms and remove them from the vehicle. Using a separator or a flathead screwdriver, pop all the plastic snaps holding the storage bin to the floor. With the seats and storage bin removed from the vehicle, now is a great time to vacuum the interior space. As the Goose Gear platform will use the holes from the stock storage bin, find the outer two holes and cut away the carpet to expose them. Next, Cut away the carpet hiding the two seat mounting holes from each side of the vehicle. We highly suggest removing the rear seat belts as they will no longer be necessary and could get in the way if you leave them. Find the top bolt and remove it, then pull back the trim panel. Remove all the bolts holding the seat belt and retractor in place. Reinstall the trim panel and repeat on the other side. Your Tacoma is now prepped and ready for the sweet Goose Gear installation. Okay, here we go, the exciting part of this project. Have your ginger arrange the bottom and back panels on the floor. Find the two platform support boards and loosen the bolts. Starting with the 40% bottom delete plate, slide in the support board and tighten. Don't over tighten bolts. Remember, this is wood you're working with. Find two of the fancy L brackets and connect them to the 40% bottom plate as shown. Now with the 60% bottom delete plate, slide in the support board and tighten. Find the remaining three L brackets and connect them to the 60% bottom plate as shown. Now find two of the black joiner brackets and loosely connect them to the 60% bottom plate. Move the 60% plate into the vehicle. It should fit perfectly flat. We can now line up the various mounting holes. Locate the provided hardware as shown. Loosely fasten the four bottom plate mid holes, which will line up with the holes from the stock storage bin. Then loosely fasten the four longer bolts with the stock seat bolt holes. We suggest using anti-seize on these bolts. Next up, move the 40% plate into the vehicle.
locate the provided hardware as shown. Loosely fasten the two bottom plate mid holes, which will line up with the holes from the stock storage bin. Then loosely fasten the four longer bolts with the stock seat bolt holes. And then loosely fasten the bolts for the two joiner brackets that hold the bottom plates together. Onto the back plates. Loosely fasten the last remaining joiner bracket onto the 60% back plate. Move the 60% back plate into the vehicle and against the back wall. Locate the provided hardware as shown. Loosely fasten all the bolts to the back wall. Now move the 40% back plate into the vehicle and against the back wall. Locate the provided hardware as shown. And loosely fasten all the bolts to the back wall. Double check that both the bottom and back plates are all lined up perfectly and then get busy tightening all the bolts. As you're almost done this awesome project, we know your excitement level is off the charts, so please be careful to not over tighten. We highly suggest using hand tools, only use power tools if you are a ginger with fine finger dexterity. An important point, if you have a stock subwoofer, you do not need the 60% back wall plate. Further, the back wall plates are not necessary if you don't want them. And finally, find the four bottom plate access doors and install them. As an added touch, we installed wiring for a fridge underneath the bottom 40% panel. Goose Gear also have available drawer modules for this particular setup. See their website for details. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our team at Epic. Peace.